Welcome back. Now I'm going to show you the next step to creating a quiz or an exam on Moodle. In the first part, I showed you how to set up your quiz. That is the first step. Now we are going to create questions that we're going to be adding to our quiz. Now please take note, the terminology that Moodle uses can get confusing. In this case where we are, we can simply edit the quiz. And the question that you might ask is, were we not editing the quiz when we set it up? we're editing the quiz settings. So there's a difference between the quiz settings and the quiz itself. So in this case, we're going to edit the quiz. Let's click on this button down here. And when we get to this screen, we have a couple of um, settings that we have in our way. We can change our the grade for our quiz here from 10. Let's say I'm just going to put it as five and I can click save. So my quiz is now worth five marks, but still I have not added the questions. So how do I add the questions? If you notice over to the right of my screen here, there's an add button. I'll click on add and I have three options. The first option is to add a new question. So in this case, I'll be adding the question straight to the quiz. Then I can also add a question from a question bank. I will, I will show you how to set up question banks at a later point, or I can choose to add a random question. When I choose to add a random question, I'll be taking that question from a question bank. So that is something that will be explained in a video that will be coming up soon. So for now, I'll click add a new question. And when I add a new question, I'll be adding the question straight to the quiz. That means this question will be available to all students. Now, over to the left, you can see the different types of questions that Moodle can accept. And your configuration may differ depending on how your administrator set up your particular Moodle installation. If you require a specific type of question in Moodle, please talk to your administrator. They will be able to explore how to add that question type. So if you want to know what a question type does, you can just click on the question type and there's a description over to the right. So you can feel free to navigate through this at your own time. I'll quickly go down and choose true or false. That'll be a quick, quick question to add. Then I'll click the add button. All right, so as we're adding the question, you'll notice a couple of settings that are available for you. The first is your category. You can choose the the category that your question is going to be housed. Categories are the question banks, more or less. So in this case, it is a uh, default for test 101. I can come and uh, choose other categories here. I'll choose default for demo quiz. Question name, test 101 question. Then the question text. This is where you enter the text that the students are going to see. So the question name students are not going to see. This is for your own cataloging of uh, questions. I will ask a um, question. Donald Trump is the president of um, Zimbabwe. Okay, so here I can set the default mark. I'll leave it as one. Then I can put any general feedback that I want to give for the students, but I will not do so. The correct answer, the correct answer is false. Yes, that's that's the correct answer. Then uh, if students choose true, I can give feedback for them down there. If they give, if they choose false, I can give feedback for them down there. I'm not going to do so. Now you can save changes and continue editing. This is advisable if you're working on a long question, but mine is short, so I'll just click save changes and we'll move on. All right, so now I have my question and you can see the question is there. If I want to preview this question from this setup, I can click on the magnifying glass icon here. Okay, so now that I'm here, I can choose fill in correct responses so that I can test to see if it's working all right. So you can see it's selected false, which is the correct answer. So I can now close preview and I know my question is set up. Now I will not bore you through the details of adding more questions. I'll just quickly add a few more questions to this quiz so that we can move on to completing this part of the tutorial. Okay, so now we are done setting up our quiz and it now has five questions. 
and I am happy with what it is so far. So what I'll do is I'll navigate over to the top using the bread the breadcrumbs menu here. I'll go back to demo quiz. And there you go. Now you see that warning is no longer there and we now have just the instructions and back to course. Now remember I messed up my dates and in case you did the same mistake you can just change let me go back to using the gear icon to the on the top i can go to edit settings remember edit settings is different from edit quiz edit quiz you're adding questions edit settings you're editing you're editing the quiz the the i beg your pardon you're editing the quiz settings so click edit settings Then I'll quickly change my timing here by clicking on timing, choose 23 June, and also ch change this to 23 June. There you go. Now let's save and display. Right. So you'll see what I was mentioning in the previous tutorial. This quiz is not currently available. It will only open tomorrow but as a lecturer you can preview the quiz so if you go to the gear icon again on the top right click on preview you can start the attempt and you can see exactly as the student would see the quiz when they're trying to attempt it so I'll click on start attempt and I hope I'll be able to do well in this quiz wish me well So once I am done, I will get to the screen and I can choose to return to the attempt or I can choose to submit all and finish. And please take note, the timer is running over in the left and the students always have access to this timer. So I'll click on submit all and finish. Submit all and finish. And there you go. I got 100%. Yay! That's good. So this is how you will set up a quiz and you can preview the quiz as a lecturer. So I now know that everything is all set and I'm happy with what I am seeing here. So that's how you add questions to your quiz. Now in the next series of videos I'm going to show you other ways that you can add questions to Moodle as you prepare for your quizzes or your exams. I hope you enjoyed this.